guys, happy August. Happy August 1st. <laughs> um, I got pulled to my old decks. Okay, so I'm not... <laughs> There's the devil. This deck is I Saw the Beauty and the Devil for sure, right? Um, and this was one of my first. Okay, so... Now we got the Two of Cups and the Four of Swords, so maybe you're just sitting, thinking, resting, trying to figure something out. So, I'm not quite sure. Uh, you could have walked away because you needed a break. <coughs> um, what this reading is going to be pertaining to, considering I'm using my older deck. So, I do feel like... This reading should resonate with you, but I also feel like it's going to be regarding someone from your past. Now, can it be someone new and be a past life? Possibly, but I, I don't think so. This is going to be more or less... If you're dealing with somebody from the past or you're still with this person, but it's, it's you know, you guys have history, okay? Um, let's find out what's, what's currently happening. So, that's too many. <clears throat> Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I'm not going to read reversals. I thought about it because it, it did come out reverse. So you could have just ended something again, taken a break, resting. Um, that Four of Swords really wants to come into play. It could be a new chapter. It could be an ending. You know, finally closing the doors. Letting something being done. But, again, I'm not reading reversals. But to me, it was reversed. So to me, I, I don't think it's done. But don't... I don't want to give you that type of knowledge right now, that type of information, because right now it's, the door is shut. And this is a world, right? So this is a big accomplishment. This is not just a, a rinky-dink card. You know, um, it's over. Could something start up again? Possibly. Could someone be coming back? Possibly. Could you have just walked away? Possibly. We'll see. So you got the Knight of Cups. So something was already over. Okay. Um, you kind of have the wounded warrior underneath that. So somebody does want to come back in and offer the cup. Whether this is you or whether this is them. August 1st, 2020. Got the star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this is someone, you know, they could be looking at something as having hope. Or someone following destiny. Thinking about it. Somebody feeling like they're, they're being guided. Dreams coming true, wishes, desires. Could just be the full moon in Aquarius right now. You could be dealing with somebody in Aquarian energy or this is coming back around with the full moon. Nine of cards. Nine of cards in the death card. Um, this was the wounded warrior I was telling you about. 
So this card talks about not giving up, right? And hanging in there. There's was definitely an ending. Could it be a transformation? Possibly. Um, there's definitely some heartache. It could even be ego. Okay. Um, could possibly work with this person or in the past. Um, someone could be at a distance. Someone's definitely considering something. Um, got a lot of major arcana here. There's heartache, but somebody definitely from your past wants to come back in and offer a cup. I truly don't know how you, you feel about it or, or what you're going to do, but um, let's see. What's next with the world? What's next with the world? I don't want to know what happened. I want to know what's next. Oh, that's too many. Actually, what do you need to know with the world? What do we need to know? So, I guess however you want to interpret this. What do we need to know with the world? We have the sun, so you're about to be illuminated for sure. Um, you're about to see something, you're about to get some clarity. I will tell you, I, someone feels betrayed, stabbed in the back, or it was definitely over. It, something was, or given. Um, if you're dealing with a fixed sign, something's over. If they were dealing with a Leo, something could be over. Um... But to me, this is some type of clarity coming in. What do we need to know about the Knight of Cups? So they want to come back in. This is a card of, you know, sharing emotions. Um, this could be ego. I'm really getting ego. Um, but it, it could be disappointment, heartache. You do have the Six of Swords, so there is a lesson here, and it could be based on ego, okay? Um, but this is getting in the boat and moving. So somebody's on the boat, which makes sense because the world's here. So what is this Three of Swords then? Because I, I can't tell if this is ego or disappointment or pain. You, I mean, you guys would know if this is just scenario, right? But the ego could be blocking a lot of stuff. Maybe this person doesn't show emotion because it's the ego blocking it. Or maybe this person does show emotion and they really are disappointed and hurt. Um, got the Knight of Wands. That's, that's somebody who's in and out. That That's... That could be somebody who definitely moves with ego and pride. But to me, something came in and came out real quick. Um, like as fast as it came in, it's as quickly as it left. So either that's forgetting you or them. Again, getting on the boat and going. Someone does want to choose a new direction. There is something, you know, there might be some type of comma linked here. Um, so basically I think what this is telling me that somebody is just disappointed because again, as quick as it came in, it's as it just, it left just as quickly. Others, this is straight up ego and pride. You know, it's, it's also player energy. You could be dealing with somebody who drinks. It could be some type of habit. Um, but this is an energy of 
massive, massive ego getting in the way. Definitely playing games, trying to get away with certain stuff. Come and goes as they please. Not not as awful as it sounds, but kinda. So I think somebody now sees something and realizes something with the ending. There was an ending and now with the sun coming in. It, some type of clarity is going to come out of this. What is the star? Because this combo too is don't give up. You know, have whole wounded warrior type energy. Damn. So you have the Knight of Pence in the tower. So if you ask me, you got almost every night here. I don't think this is dating. I think this is just a very complicated situation with no direction, no commitment, no priorities, no no intentions, you know. Um, and this is the slowest night in the deck, so I don't know if it was like, the, it was just like too slow. Um, it's almost like I think this person wanted to is wants to come in and, and offer something more practical and more stable but it looks like the tower went down oh no see this tower it didn't go down yet right now you're probably arguing fighting feeling defeated it's manipulating energy it's, it's narcissistic energy it's winning at all cost energy. It's I don't give a fuck energy. So this is about to go down. Someone is looking at you as quite the connection. And it, it seems to be mutual. What is this nine of wands? <clears throat> the emperor. So they, it's like they don't want to give up, <clears throat> but they also look at you as passion. They're resisting you, okay? Um, they could be looking at you as, as extremely intuitive. But it is... This energy is watching you. This energy is trying to figure it out. I, I just feel like they're going through like a... A tower moment themselves, trying to process. Definitely got some ego blocking the situation. Something could have ended because there was no growth, but had potential. It's like, this is also saying they want to give up. But this card is about not giving up. The Nine of Swords flipped. So they could be having a tough time sleeping. What's this death card? Can't tell if this is something that's going to be transformed or it's just, it's over. Seven of Swords. So this energy is, is holding back, wanting to move forward, but you know, hold them back. Somebody else could be moving forward with the Fool here and the Ace of Cups. They're not playing games no more. This energy, 
you know, somebody probably realizes this energy is holding back and it's deceiving, it's deceptive, it's shady, it's sneaky, and it needed to end. So this is not a transform, transformative energy. This is, it's dead, it's over, it, it's shady. Okay, so clearly this person from your past is not quite here. But this person from your past is coming back. Now, what you do with that, knowledge is up to you. So right now in their life, they're going through a tower moment. Wanting to give up. But, I mean, it's, they're still being sneaky about something. You know, I hate to deliver that type of news, but that's the truth. So, let's see how they feel about you in this deck. Now, you're going to have to place this, you know, how, however it fits for you. Whether this is your energy or their energy, but... <clears throat> Let's see how they feel about you. Because right now this is saying, you know, this is what's going on in your life or their life. So let's see how they feel about you. Hold on. I'm going to do her side and his side. Okay. Um, feminine that was seen in the previous raid was the Queen of Wands and regardless of who she is or a sign and the masculine was coming in as all propensities okay which makes sense that they would be the Emperor because they're, they're carrying each and every single one um, so we'll see how she feels about him and then how he feels about her so let's see how she feels about him Right now, if you get a good look at that, he's definitely um, watching. And she's just kind of like right there. So how does she feel about him? How does the Divine Feminine feel about the Divine Masculine, please? Okay. Well, she's torn with the Five of Wands. She's looking at him like there's too much competition. There's drama. It's, it's, she's conflicted. Is it love? Is it not love? Is it, you know, am I better off staying single? She's, she's a very strong woman. She stands in her morals. Her integrity is, is the nine of pence. She's confident. Okay, but right now she's... Um, I'm not even going to say conflicted. Uh, this is more... It's black and white to her. It's, it's, 
you and yeah see I, I mean it could be confliction but I'm not feeling it I'm feeling more frustration you know drama you know that that type of energy she does find contentment clearly in the masculine there is there is passion you know there is inspiration she's inspired you know she does want contentment she does want the ten of cups too many came out there how else does she feel about him she could be looking at it as it's a 10 too that is it's over could she had wanted a family life ten of cups represents a family life um, but she could be looking at it as differently now okay now see she sees see she see she sees potential she you know it, it's like she, Wanting to invest time, but getting nowhere. Okay. So, it's tricky. Because she feels like there's, there's too much drama. What is this Five of Wands? What is this Five of Wands, please? Son of Swords. You either know you're being watched or you know there's a conversation coming in. It, 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 there could be some type of deception. You do have the Hierophant and then the Three of Cups. There could be a third party scenario here. Possibly already a relationship. Or you could be dealing with somebody who's very um, traditional. Somebody who's... <sighs> could be a lesson there's too many people in the picture here what is this ten of cups this could be like a, a family and she's not should not have in it. The Queen of Wands can represent a mistress or just somebody that came into the picture and there's other people, right? Yeah, see, no, there was a family. So, especially with the Hierophant coming in and the, and the, the Hierophant was here, you have the Emperor, you now have the Empress. Could she want the Ten of Cups? Could you, could you want to have that? Yeah, possibly. It's it's almost like a, a given, right? Because you wanted the contentment, you wanted the Ten of Cups, you wanted the commitment, you wanted the full package, you wanted the sun, you wanted the future, you saw the potential. But to me, this energy is is married. Or she's just, or was married, but this energy still plays too much of a part in his life. So there, there's, there, there's got to be boundaries that, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's too much for this energy right now. So I don't, I don't know how far you guys are going to get right now when this energy tries to roll back around. Because especially if this is how you're feeling, you know you're being watched. You're possibly communicating, going back and forth. You want the Ten of Cups with this person, but this person seemed to already have the Ten of Cups or is still in the Ten of Cups. You 
you know, so that's, that's tricky. Let me get another deck of cards real quick. <clears throat> advice for the queen of wands right here recovery so you're you're still recovering yeah I don't I don't know what you're gonna do this is tricky because they're gonna want to come back so you will obviously hurt from this situation What is this Empress and Ten of Cups? What is this Empress and Ten of Cups, please? Because this Empress is not, is not you. I don't believe. Unless this is who you want to be to this person. I mean, I can see that too, but I'm also seeing too many people in the picture. That's way too many. But it could, you know, this is how she feels, right? So how she feels about him. So she could want the Ten of Cups. She could, she could want that position in his life. She sees the potential, but there's just too much going on. And in the midst of everything, she's trying to recover from whatever is going down or went down in the past, you know? And then it says needs time take time and time cycles time to heal and process so let me shut my ring off sorry about that she's still having a really hard time processing what's going down between this person and someone else or what went down just between them it, it's like she wants that place but there's a lot of undercover stuff here. Okay, so let's find out how he feels about her. She obviously sees, maybe he's still trying to make a decision. She obviously sees potential and growth, but there's there's too many people in the picture, all right? So he could be fear, fearing this situation. That could be a lot of seduction. That could be temptation. Um... Well, he seems to be looking at her in a pretty positive way. How's the Emperor feel about her? So, he's coming out with the same card. So, it's, it's mirroring energy right off the rip, too. But, he's just as conflicted, you know. Um, I think you guys are arguing, alright? So, he's hurt. Or well, this could be ego. Alright. We got the Eight of Cups. The Three of Pents. So either he walked away from her or she walked away from him. Looks probably there was probably a third party type situation. He's hurt that this energy walked away. Maybe he wanted some type of contract. Um... Yeah, there had to have been somebody that came in between you guys. To me, they were probably married. Just because they're married, it doesn't mean that there wasn't a separation. Or this is the kid's mother or father. But this person's still in the picture. And it's it's causing drama. You know, so someone hasn't quite healed from a situation. Because... 
people can live with baby mama, baby daddy situations or husband, wife, exes. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that there's, the, there's still somebody in the picture, whether they're together or not. See what I'm saying? There's still someone that's causing chaos. Um, what is this emperor going through? And again, this could be ego or, or pain. I think it's a little of both. The sword and rose, clarity, truth, resolution, protection, power. So they're, they're getting clarity right now, which makes sense because they had the tower. Okay, so. And then you have self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-sided relationship. Okay, so they're, they're in their own little world right this second. Um... Well, this is somebody they're dealing with, and, I, and I, I don't think it's you by any means. Okay. So, taking a chance, being strategic, options, not showing their hands, gambling. It's too many. I think they're going to come in and give you some type of clarity. You just don't see it coming. What is this Eight of Cups? Nine of Pence. Ten of Swords. Something's definitely over. What's this Three of Swords? So now they're trying to make a decision. What to do here? This energy is resisting. So to me, this energy... They're looking at you as they know there's a lot of conflict. They know there's heartache. There, there's there's endings. There's confliction. There's there's still open contracts. There's decisions that need to be made. But this is how he feels about her. So he is hurt. So it looks like you walked away from this energy. And because there was just too many people in the picture. And right now it looks like they're trying to figure out their next move. So let me see. I'll try to pull mutual energy between the two of you. the mutual energy between the two of these people. Well, the golden mirror decided to come out in the hammer, right? So one-sided, you each think it's one-sided. You have the hammer, so a sabotage or rebuilding, working on it. So it looks like you guys will probably end up coming back together, but not not positive. Um, looks like there's some issues of fear or abandonment issues, you know, codependent relationships, like that type of energy. Um, you guys are definitely not on the same page. I feel like you probably want to rebuild it, but that's not quite happening yet. There's too much going on. You have the palm tree, stability, security, performance, growth, flexibility. So you both want that stability, that growth. Okay, but there's a lot of underlying stuff right now, and I, I guess I can say to be continued because right now this is where you guys stand. This energy is going to come back in towards you, okay? So, but right now, 
you're both conflicted. You're, you're both in the in the middle of drama or arguments. Um, so I wish I could give you more. It's just kind of where you're at right now. You know, um, like I said, this is probably going to have to be one of those to be continued because this is, it just, it is what it is. I can't give you your best advice for when it comes back around right now. I mean, you clearly know what's going on. Maybe if you get some type of clarity, you can make a better decision. Um, so maybe we'll touch base with this reading next week. Just trying to get something, but it's, it's, I don't want to read it that way. All right, to be continued, okay? It looks like I want to give you more information, but they just keep saying to be continued, so tis is what it is. I guess it looks like it's about to be continued. I love you guys. Have a great day.